Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today, we're going to take a look at a snapshot for the medical marijuana market in Alaska. With Alaska's 800,000 residents, only 404 have active medical cannabis cards. That's apparently because the medical and recreational markets are so closely aligned, it hasn't really allowed for a medical-specific market to prosper. We've definitely got that same issue here in Washington. Alaska's history of cannabis legalization is one of progression and regression. In 1975, Alaska was the second state to decriminalize cannabis, only to recriminalize it back in 1990. And while criminalization of adult use has bounced back and forth, Alaska was more definitive with medical cannabis passing Measure 8 in 1998. So while the medical market fades, the adult use space has performed well since the state legalized it in 2014. Alaska's adult use spending is projected to increase from $95 million in 2018 to $284 million in 2024, according to ArcView Market Research and BDS Analytics. Medical market spending is expected to fall from $2.4 million to $1.4 million during the same period. There are various pain points along the way. One of them is the supply chain. Another is fees. So $50 fee per ounce has got some cultivators concerned. The concerns for consumers seem to be less problematic. The adult use laws coupled with cultivation rules that allow for up to six plants grown at home capped at 12 per household. Even the dogs of the fame Iditarod sled race have become part of the discussion as they look at treating some of the dogs with CBD. It looks like the medical market may be on its way out. The state did try to ensure that patients have continued to receive their medicine during these trying times. And the state did fast track or allow at least for curbside pickups. They might uh, make that permanent or even delivery. And they're even looking at a more straightforward path for on-site consumption. So Alaska will be the first state to pass such a measure back in March of 2019. But there's been a lot of uh, pushback on that. So some of the cities have taken a variant stance on marijuana lounges. So Juneau approved the measure back in July of 2019. But Anchorage rejected a similar proposal in April of 2020. So we'll have to see where that goes. With that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.